This video is from Math Pace 1086. Page 18 and 19, we want to talk about negative exponents. And this being a pre-algebra course, I'm a little surprised at how deep the algebra is getting already. There are some concepts in here that typically are not covered, or at least not in much detail until later in Algebra 1 or even Algebra 2. So you're getting a good introduction, and uh, you only have to do it for a short time here, but hopefully get a good handle on it, okay? Let's talk first about this concept on page 18 called zero exponents. And at the top of page 18, they explain some of the reasoning behind it, and I would suggest you study that example and try to understand it. But bottom line, it's real easy, okay? Anything to the zero power is the number one. So even at 5, 5 to the 0 power, it's 1. This looks a little trickier because we have parentheses and we have a negative number in there. doesn't matter. It still just becomes the number 1, okay? Um, negative 3 to the 0 power. And this is a little different because the 0 is really only attached to the 3, okay? So that becomes 1, but we still have the negative. Uh, let's see, I could do a negative, let's do a fraction. Okay, and I'm going to do it this way. Negative two-thirds to the zero power. So the two-thirds would become one, and the negative out front would kick in. Okay, so like I said, that's not too hard. Let's talk about negative exponents. What a negative exponent does is it takes whatever the base is, whatever the exponent is attached to, that base gets inverted, okay? The reciprocal, we just flip it upside down. Well, two, it's kind of like two over one, we can flip and it becomes one over two. And then it's to the third power, so that means times itself three times, which would give us one eighth. Okay, not too bad. Let's take this one. This is three or two thirds to the negative third. The negative tells me that I'm gonna flip it and it becomes three over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. 3 means 3 of them. The negative means I'm doing the reciprocal. And so the answer is 27 over 8. <clears throat> if it's to the negative 1 exponent, that's pretty easy because we just do the reciprocal. 8 fifths and we're done. Now look at this one. I have negative 12 to the negative 1 exponent. And sometimes students get confused because they see a negative here and a negative here. And maybe they want to multiply them and get positive 12 or whatever. No, 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 no. All right. Let's deal with the negative exponent first. So that means we do the reciprocal. And then the negative comes in and makes our answer negative. Okay. Not too bad. Let's take this problem, and if you're following with me, this is actually one of the harder problems on page 19, so if you stick with me, we'll have this problem done for you, and at least you'll know you have one problem correct for homework, okay? This variable r, we're going to plug in one-third to the second power, excuse me, negative second power, okay, over three times, and we're going to plug in one-fourth in place of the s. All right, one-third to the negative second, so the negative means I flip it, and it becomes three to the second power. Multiply these together, and I get three-fourths. So I have nine over three-fourths, or solve it and multiply by four-thirds, right? Because when you divide by a fraction, you invert the fraction and multiply. And now I can just simplify this, and the answer is... All right, I would suggest that on this page and the next few pages even, do about half the problems or maybe even just 10 of the problems and go to the score key and see if you're on the right track and understanding it because it's very discouraging if you do the whole page and then or maybe two or three pages and then go to the score key and you're not getting it and you get the whole thing wrong, okay? So do a few, stop, score. And then once you know what you're doing, then move on and finish the page. Hopefully that helps.